Now let's talk real quick about brand name keywords. These are company names, expert names, product names. You know, some may be trademarks, some may not be. Let's talk about brand name keywords. First of all, you should definitely bid on your own brand name keywords, your name, your company name, your product names. These will typically have the highest click-through rate of some of your ads because it's very specific. Someone's looking for you or looking for your product they saw somewhere or looking for your brand. Now you'd think, why don't they just go to my website? Well, a lot of people can't remember your website address or they can't remember how to, how to find you or maybe they'll search for part of your brand name and not remember all of it. Let's say if you have like a, a longer product name, they may only remember the beginning of it. So you definitely wanna test bidding on your own brand keywords. Um, as far as your name, it just depends. If you're an authority, if you're an expert, if you're well known in your marketplace, if your name is used in your marketing, then by all means set up ad groups and test running ads when people type in uh, your name and do searches for your name. But you'll want to, of course, just like anything else, you're going to track the click-through rates, the values, the prices, and ultimately, of course, the conversion rates because typically your brand name keywords can be some of the best, highest ROI keywords but you have to test it. Some markets are different. Sometimes they won't convert as well, uh, but you should definitely be bidding on them and at least testing them uh, to see how it goes. And typically you will find it is some of the best returns that you'll get. Now, it's great if you have high Google search rankings, which we'll talk about when we get to the SEO part of this course. It's great when you have high search rankings for, let's say your, you know, your company name or your brand names. So you have the high organic listings and you're bidding on the uh, AdWords ad keywords for those same terms. It's kind of like you get the double whammy on the page. It gives you like extra authority when someone searches for you, like your company name and they see that you have an ad there that shows up at the very top. And then also they can scroll down and they see how you're ranked and listed there in the organic listing. So, cause some people are like, well, if I'm already ranking high, why would I waste my money you know, also running AdWords. Well, it can really increase the response that you get from a user. And ultimately you can really influence the conversion rate if they see you in an ad as well as see you in the organic listings. It just makes you look that much more powerful. Now, I do have to say this about brand name keywords. I'm asked this a lot. Hey, should I bid on my competitors' keywords? Is it okay to bid on trademarks? You know, you can do it within Google AdWords system. There are some rules, of course, to how you can do it and how, you, how you're not supposed to do it, which is against their terms. But I don't recommend you bid on your competitors' brand names for a couple different reasons. One, in all the tests I've seen, the click-through rate is typically pretty low. If they're searching for, you know, company A, and then you run an ad that gets displayed and you're not company A, it's a to total mismatch between what they search for and, and of course your ad that they found. So you're typically gonna get low click-through rates and typically low conversion rates, even if someone does click. So it's really not worth, worth messing with. High click-through rates are what it's all about now with AdWords. It drives everything. That's the quality score, the, big, the biggest factor of the quality score anyways. And so anything that's going to get low CTR, you don't even want to mess with. It's just not worth it. And that's what will happen if you bid on your competitors' uh, brand names and terms. But the other important reason I recommend that you don't bid on competitors' brand names is that it makes you look negative in your marketplace. You just, you don't, you look pretty petty. If you're, you know, if someone searches for company A and then you're trying to steal the limelight there and, and siphon off some of that traffic when they're not even looking for you, uh, again, it's gonna get a low CTR, but you just look kind of desperate. And also, it kind of sends the wrong message to your market and your competitors. If you ever want to potentially, you know, partner with your competitors, sharing content or links or doing joint ventures or working together as affiliates or anything now or in the future, even if now they have only competing products and you don't think you'd ever do business with them, you know, they're in the same market. They're building a customer list of the same prospects that you're after. You know, they're advertising, spending money to drive the traffic that you're after. There's all these common things with your competitors and you and the last thing you want to do is really kind of play in a negative way, so to speak, in business and kind of, you know, turn those people off. They know you're competing for money. They know that's part of competition. But I don't recommend that you bid on their, their keywords and their brands because they're going to see your ads and they're going to be like, oh, these guys, you know, are kind of terrible and horrible for trying to siphon off traffic for people trying to find us. So I don't recommend it. I think the return is very low for what you'll get for it if you'll get a positive ROI and turn a profit anyways on those clicks. So I, I think all around, it's best uh, 
to avoid it if possible. You know, certainly it's up to you. You can test it. And if you make money from it, it's your decision. Uh, but I typically recommend to my students not to go there again because it's low click-through rate and it makes you look bad in the marketplace.